What's up, girl? How much? Ready? You getting ready to go? Yeah. Yep. It looks like we got an enforcer too. So it's, um, I'm having Enola take the Seminole so that we okay. can transport her to the hospital when it's all done. Ground roll is going to be beaten to the deck and it's done after that. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's out just out north of the lighthouse. And yeah. North of the lighthouse? Yep. There's a military pad, like a bunker pad over there. Uh, okay. Sorry. All Vikings in your cut, prepare to move out. Yeah. Yeah, here, just hand it here. I'll take it. I'll be back. Because you'll be riding on the back of somebody's bike. Yuri, do you have a two seater? No. All right, should ride with me. All right. I have a two seater. Muscle space. If you're on the clock, I'm getting ready to go. Don't forget the clock out. Hurry up, Jack. What are we waiting for right now? Jack's been just speaking with Levi, and then we're going to leave. Uh, Onyx, you're going to stay. Um, can't bring you with us. Okay. Okay. Levi, take it easy, bud. We got to bounce. Hi. Be well, Adios. dude. Autobots. Don your out. ships. Let's go. Cheeky cat. Chill with Onyx. Let me yeah. hold on. Let me send them a message that we're leaving. All right, well, let's go. Just for those that aren't aware, if shit does need to go south, it'll be me, Cox, Jax, and d -d 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 who else was it? Get in, get in, get in, get in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Road speed 6061. 10 left lane. I'm not gonna lie, this, you know, rod's smooth. Mm hmm. Yikes. It's a good bike. I'm really debating on getting it. I just wish it didn't have a fucking purse, like, behind you. <laughs> I know. they could take it off. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> if not, it's additional comfort for whoever sits behind me, so. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're going to be taking the Union exit up here. Exit left past the sign. Approaching left turn. Slowing it down. At the stop sign, we're going to be making a left. Oh. 
figure that out. Taking a left here to the lighthouse across the bridge and then continuing around the house. suggest not parking on this well somebody fucking alex bumped the back of over guys bikes and threw the oh, it did? In the ocean yep. okay well yeah oh, let's shit. not do that then <laughs> This is big bitch up. Yuri's down. What? Yeah, Yuri's down. They could have at least told us this before we parked up there. Yep. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, it's great. I just love having a bike roll over my foot while I'm have you know while I feel in perfect health and my body arm is fresh, and I just pass out. It's fucking sick. Yeah. At least you have body armor. Mine doesn't. Not appear. anymore. Oh, hey, mine did too. Nice. Do you need any bandages? No, I'm good. You have body armor. Uh huh. Okay. Can I have that? Yeah, come down here. No guns. Just have it at the ready, that's all. Look, is this knucklehead? Yeah. It's a local. <laughs> they He's like, what's here? going on over here? I named him Chad. Oh my he God. needs some Chad. A fucking idiot. Yeah, he, he, he's not that bright. I take his bike all the time when I come hiking up here. No. Oh. Talk about bad timing or... Bro, what the fuck? Come on, let's go. Let him go. Any day now. Oh, 
You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Appreciate y'all being patient. Yeah, no problem. Well, she's here. She's not in our prospect cut because she's looking to fucking finish the issue that she had with you and do it respectfully. Fair enough. I see she changed her hair to some very bright. It's quite bright. It so quite the only bright. only stipulation that I'm going to impose upon this out of fairness is when she's beaten to the deck, it's left at that. Fair? Fair. No weapons, only fists. You guys good at that? Only fists? Yep. All right. Emma, come forward. We're going to back away to the end. Any bullshit, then all is fair in love and war. No bullshit here. Shouldn't be any here either. Well, let me react to it. Yeah, my word. Yep. All right, Viking, step back. All right, you three can step back. All right, Siren. You know, party wanted Anna here, just fucking flaunted in front of Crow that you know, that's the girl he wanted so much. Okay. Fucking petty. Let's try to bring it back toward the center, shall we? Can I go to walk in the middle? Thank you. God damn it. Like how he has to fucking stretch after that. Back in the middle. Can I deal with that local? I got mm -hmm. him. Vikings was Checker. a toughener up a bin. Doesn't need to be everybody. Probably take her to the zone. There's not gonna be any doctor to Zona. Take her to Polito. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take her then. Jax, Henry, you're gonna follow suit with them. Got it? Got it. Idiots. <laughs> Alright, no, no. Come on, Mark. Hurry up. Me, Gideon. Uh, Alex, Alex at the end. 
check, check one, one just, just in case. case. Hmm. Let's chat. I'm heading to Polito, boys. Weaver, step up. Me and uh, Hunter in your tail. I'll be off radio if you need me, hit my cell. Okay. First things first, I want to clear the air about this shit. Please. I'm going to give you our side of the story for exactly what happened with her leading up to these unfortunate events. Okay. And we'll see uh, how much that matches up with what you've been told. Say probably about, mm, what'd you say, a month and a half ago? Give or take about a month and a half, yes. About a month and a half ago, Foxy comes to us at church. It was the anniversary of her mom's death. She had gone binge drinking the night before. We got to the bottom of it, figured out what was going on. She brought it to the table and then uh, let us know that she had gotten some information on her mom's potential killer. The information she got and gave to us was incredibly vague. All she gave us was that it was a white male wearing a cut with dark brown hair. That was it. And then she followed up with that he may not even be in the state. So it was brought up and it was addressed to church. We obviously were, you know, there for her to console her because we understand that's a, that's a very difficult thing to have to relive the anniversary of a parent's death. And we told her that if she needed us, we would absolutely be there to help find this guy and track him down. That was the last we heard of it. About a week before she left, minus two, it got brought up again saying that we uh, had not helped her look at all, yeah. that we were going back on our word, when it not once she mentioned at any point, hey... I've got even more information that might actually help us legitimately find this guy or it once asked us to go, you know, canvas and, and talk to people because the information she gave us wasn't enough to go off of. To do my own little social experiment, I even approached a couple of members of Devil's Disciples and asked them, you know, hey, you know anybody wearing a cut that's white and has dark brown hair that may or may not have killed somebody? And they literally all laughed at me. Okay. So we honestly, God, had no information to go off of. Had she ever provided us with anything legitimate to go off of, then we absolutely would have. It came out after the fact that the guy Meyer was wearing a DD cut, an old DD cut, as in from like our previous city. Okay. And that was, at that point, she was already talking about leaving and going nomad because, and that was her reasoning, was because we weren't helping her. Look, essentially. I told her all the same stuff I'm telling you, that we don't have enough information. If you would have asked us at any point, hey, can we go talk to this group of people and see if they know anything, we absolutely would have been 100% behind her on that. Never happened. So she brought up to Crow that she wanted to think about going nomad for those reasons. We had an emergency meeting about it. We talked to her about it and told her, you know, at the end of the day, that's your decision. If you want to go nomad, I think it doesn't make sense because why would you solo look for somebody when you have the entire club behind your back to help you? She took a couple days to cool off. We had church a couple days later. At the church, her nomad vote got brought up. She told us and vehemently denied the fact that she wanted to go nomad anymore. She said, and I directly quote, no, I wasn't in the right state of mind. You guys are right. I'm here for you and I'm here for the club. That's verbatim what she said. We asked her multiple times, are you sure, you, you know, you're know, you sure you're about this? You're sure you're wanting to stick around? Because we were ready to vote her to go nomad. We were all huh? supportive of that decision. We're, who are we to say you can't go nomad? And she told us, nope, I'm not going to know, man. She just asked for a couple days to clear her head after church. And that was about it. We had church. Everything was good. You know, we talked to her and um, Anna as well, because I know Anna was going through some shit. We told her, we even told Anna that we'd be willing to go to the AA meetings with her. But I think she wanted to take that journey on her own, which is understandable. And Anna did turn in her batch at church. She requested to be voted out of the club, and it was a unanimous decision to let her walk away clean. No harm, no foul. But... Foxy, on the other hand, straight up told us, she's like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm here with the club. Two days later, we get her, her cut handed in by a prospect. She had the opportunity to walk away. And I agree. She didn't do it, right? No, not at all. If not she, would at have all. Asked, she would ask me voted out of the club, even. We would have been behind that. And I told, that too. But... I told her that, too. I told her that, too. I'm like, I can't trust you wearing our cut unless you resolve the issue with your prior. So I appreciate that you took it back to the table and rescinded the fucking Reaper cast on her. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is a very, I mean, this fits the culture, right? Yeah, no, I agree 100%.
And I will also make a claim to you, and I'm not going to do it out of weakness, but I'm going to do it out of the culture, right? The respect for the culture that we all have. Going forward, if there's ever an issue that presents itself like this, I will fucking reach out to you and get the specifics before making any kind of decisions. Yeah, because I'm going to be honest, had you done that, that would have probably cleared up everything. It would have. You know, I'm not going to go prying and asking what she told you, but I'm going to assume based off of what I heard from her cousin that it was mostly a lie. From what I've been told, she claimed that we had a nomad vote and we all voted unanimously against her to go nomad. And that's what the fucking game of telephone is really pathetic with, you know what yep. I mean? So that is behind us, I take it, yes? Yep, we got what we got wanted. It. All right, so how do we move forward? Because we do share a border. Well, I mean, we've never had any issues before. Absolutely. We've always given you courtesy coming up there, even when we got to hit a, a truck or some shit going on up there. Mm -hmm. I know you guys that that'll same. be continued, correct? Correct, yeah. We're not going to okay. go around disrespecting you guys' turf. I'm not going to go tagging. And we won't be disrespecting your yours fence. as well. I don't even... Do you ever find out who fucking did uh, that no, to you? not a goddamn clue. I had some more info about it. Apparently an ex... Uh, I was talking to the death dealers the other night at their opening in their clubhouse. They said that that fits the MO of one of the uh, current Lost members that they're currently in a war with the Lost over. Because that he would go tagging shit. And trying to stir shit up between clubs and groups. I Loss can, better you... check their fucking shit if it's them. Yeah, Loss is going to be, uh, I don't know if they're going to be an issue much longer. Well, I I, they're never around, them. so. Yeah, Go ahead, sounds Jacqueline. like the death dealers are pretty uh, hell-bent on getting them the hell out of the out of Harmony. I said, I, I, I can probably already guess who who would probably do that. And <laughs> Yeah, he told me well, a name. Don't try and push their head. Head. It was Arthur, be. Arthur something. Was what Arthur Reed? Arthur are you fucking kidding me? Nope. That's well, I know that there was right some, now. like, when he, because Arthur Reed was a part of the original Lost here in the state, and him and Jackson Wright went nomad, um, and they were believed to have been tagging things up, like they tagged up the Cluck and Bell with Protected by Warlocks, some, I don't know, and the Warlocks were vehemently, you know, declining that they had any yeah. participation in it, so. I don't know. That's what it's the uh, president stupid. of the Death Dealers told me, is that he was stirring shit up between Legion and uh, Warlocks back when that was going on. That doesn't fucking surprise me a bit. So I'm assuming that's probably who's behind that. How he knew about it that quickly, I don't know. I don't know. We kind of a little bit suspicious because after the altercation that we had with you relative to this matter that is now behind us, um, that night we had, or the next night or whatever, we had our bike show and some jackass kept fucking driving around shooting at our compound. Wonderful. I don't think like any of us were awake that night, no, were we? That's no, the, that's the saving grace yeah. and why we never even brought it up. No, we don't want to do shitty that. We're exactly. not a fucking street gang. Mm -hmm. All right, well. <clears throat> did anybody from the Vikings have anything they want to say? Mm. Nope, not really. Mm -hmm. Crow, you got anything? Anybody else? Negative. Negative. Uh, Razor, is it? Yeah. All right, you'll be reinstated back to the business. I hope you understand. Yeah, I understand when uh, right. Riley let me know. All right, so we'll get it. you reinstated there. There's no issue, no harm, no foul. This matter is completely closed on our end as long as yours. Um, we can go back to being copacetic and good neighbors and shit. I have so, a question, though, actually. Sounds good to me. Please. When this was going on, and this is now resolved, why didn't you guys reach out in the first place and tell us this was happening? Lacks in judgment. That's all. I, okay. I'm not going to make up an excuse. It wasn't out of spite or anything like that. It was just kind of a frustrating ordeal with a bunch of other things cascading it. So That's why I gave Viper an apology regarding it. Because it should have been done differently on my end. And it wasn't. And it will be going forward. Yeah. And I'm, Simple well, I was operating off the assumption with that that she probably told you some shit that probably made you look at this in not a great light. I don't like hearsay, and there's always more than one side. So it is what it is at the end of the day. I mean, things could have been done differently, sure. Um, as I stand right now in front of you, it doesn't affect our relationship moving forward. So it's two sides of every story, and the truth is somewhere in the middle. It's Yeah, somewhere in the middle, indeed. <laughs> But I told her I couldn't trust her in my cut if she didn't resolve the prior issues with her old one. So That's fair. Do you have any fucking idea quickly. when you guys are getting your shit? Not a goddamn clue. No, no, I'm about to go talk to Casper personally about the clubhouse, see what's going on with that. Because you have your licensing and all that ago. shit, yeah? 
Yeah, we've had yeah, everything we set up for a month. Almost a, two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, because so I know we got our clubhouse works. built on September 7th, I think it was. And I know that before that, because I had spoken with Omen about how to do it, um, and he filed all the fucking paperwork and shit, so. Yeah, paperwork's been done for quite a while. We had the uh, blueprints custom made, so. So now you're just paying on an unusable spot. It's fucking cute. Yeah, I mean, rent's cheap as fuck, I'll be honest. Oh, that's it's only good. like 3700 It's not bad. No, but now we're just waiting for the uh, public works to get the blueprints put in. Okay. Is there anything else? No, I think that's about it. Anybody else got anything here? I'm set aside. No, I'm good. Um, I should probably get the rest of my number out to everybody else in some. Yeah, yeah I'd say if you guys don't have guys. it, definitely I have one share. quick question, though. Please. You guys really have a pet warthog. Yeah, Pumba. Yes, yeah. Pumba. <laughs> okay. He comes and goes. <laughs> he likes the trash can right in that they're corner. Bigger, by they're the gas bigger station. than motorcycles. They're so fucking massive. Yeah, not as easy to ride, though. Fair. And I do want to just reiterate the fact that Anna, she's she's out clean and clear, so yeah, that's no, not going to present any kind of an issue. Good. All right, then. Um, very clean at night, Doc. I'm done with him. Okay. Oh, my fucking God. So if Jesus myself Christ, and Kira could speak to, um, to your uh, present vice, that'd be great. Yeah. You guys want to go ahead and step back to the bikes? Yeah. Give us some space, y'all. Yeah. How you doing, Crow? Not too bad. Um, today's a good day, I would say. I would too. Like I said, I appreciate you guys taking this back to your table, so it didn't have to turn into something that could have been much more disgusting. So, because yeah, you understand, sure. like from our perspective, when she came to us and what happened happened, it is what it is. But we're gonna protect her, and I mean, we enacted our first gunner for this just so we could be ready in case there was any kind of bullshit to happen. So I'm glad that we didn't have to come to blows. We didn't have to fucking put each other in a harmful situation or worse outside of this sign this, you know, simple little issue. Um, but that doesn't change how I think that we're going to be able to coexist like we have. I don't see that there's any need to have any differencing in, you know, what we've had prior unless you feel differently, of course. No, I'm gonna be honest. There's gonna be some animosity left over just due to the first interaction we had in regards to the situation. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of my guys and uh, myself included were pretty fucking pissed out. You were pretty blindsided with it. I'll I'll give you that. Yeah, it's just the you know after the the relationship that we've had for the last couple of months, just the level of disrespect we were greeted with was uh, a little astonishing. Well, I'm kind of a cunt, so and I don't back down from shit. And when I get set in my fucking ways, I'll die to honor it. You know, and that's kind of a flaw, I guess. No, yeah, it's, I think it was mostly we weren't expecting Thanks. that, to be honest. We didn't even know she was up there. Oh, I, I, I'm aware. I'm aware. Um, but it, just... it threw us all off guard, if I'm going to be honey with you. Like, we weren't I expecting to go up there and and get that type of talk. You know what I mean? It was it surprised all of us. You know, we, I could tell. you guys helped us come in, and, and you, you helped us out a lot. You know, when we first, you know, brought ourselves to you guys, and... You know, we thought that respect was is always gonna be there. So for us to come down and hear that was just like a slap in the fucking face. We just we weren't ready for it. Well, I'll be honest with you. We have always considered you guys as part of our extended family. So family has altercations. They have issues, right? Okay, um, yeah, as long as we can, you know, work and pro be proactive in trying to fucking solve them, so they don't have to come and circle around again. That's what matters to me, because I don't want to have to shoot at you guys. I I highly doubt you want to do that to us um and like i said and I, there's a, a lot of honor and a lot of respect given that this process was able to be cast yeah and that's when i brought this up because i'll be honest i was after i talked to uh slum her or henry her cousin i had probably a good hour-long conversation with him after this all went down uh, i was planning on bringing this beat down to the club as a compromise anyways because okay. i don't want to alienate him he's a good dude he's a fantastic fucking prospect and to be honest, you know, after all this shit and after the disrespect that she's shown us, her life's not worth spilling my blood over. Fair. I didn't want to spill any Reaper blood, and I didn't want to spill any Viking blood. That is very fair, and I'm glad to hear that. So just keep the communication open, the dialogue, the support, what you need, you'll still get. Um, and let's make sure we lock this fucking county down from assholes. 
Yep, I think we are. Uh, we need to, we need to get a fucking COC going. Do you have any news on when that may or may not happen? Because I haven't. Are gone, so Sandy's. I haven't heard making. anything. Yeah, I haven't heard anything since the last time we talked about you know the proposal of it. But yes, if anything, we do a county one. Yeah, because I'll be honest, I spoke to uh, Aiden Garrett, the president of Death Dealers. Mm -hmm. Apparently, this war with the loss is really starting to ramp up, and I, I, I'm fairly certain that their end game is to push the loss out of Harmony and to take it over. Well, honestly, it wouldn't be hard. So, no, so I think the plan is going to be to keep Sandy's completely neutral, as in not letting any MCs settle down in there, because it's just yeah. going to create more problems than not. It is. It's going to be. I mean, it's nice to have neutral ground. The county's big enough to support it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. Plus, the North Cartel pretty much runs that shit. And exactly. Yeah. Pretty goddamn big. Yes, they are, and they're very, very situated with other cartels. Yes. Um, yeah. So I, I appreciate it. Um, sad to see that Omen took off. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna be honest. That's why we probably weren't around this much this weekend. It was kind of a shock to all of us. It's understandable. It's really not how I wanted to get this president flash ever. Well, I he mean, doing okay. Is he doing okay? Yeah, I think he's. He's got some shit he has to deal with back in Liberty. I think. All I'll say is, I know it's been difficult not having a place of your own and not having the cuts and all that shit. But just you know, continue to thrive and be patient. I'll and what you need, if you need something, we can help with. Let us know. And we'll have you back just like we always have. Nothing yep, changes. Absolutely. Likewise, honestly. But I, I do apologize for the disrespect. I'll be big enough to admit that. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I know we probably slung some disrespect back at you as well. So it's well, he creates he creates tension, right? Yeah, I'm just glad we were able to walk away from that specific situation without a, a shot being fired. Definitely. Me too. I think you said you would turn my Bowser's head out or something. It oh, was, I'm, I was kind of, I'm a fucking like, wicked damn, cunt, like dude. Night. And I like, oh, I say a lot, no, and I actually will do that. Badish. So I'm glad that we didn't have to go there, because I don't want to sure. see your in, your insides. So, Good. just saying. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's, we we all saw that with the McTavish incident. Yep, fuck McTavish. But thankfully, none of us yeah, were like McTavish. So, yeah, that guy's a fucking douchebag. I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, I haven't seen him since that night. Left. Yeah, since that night, I haven't seen him. Yeah, little pussy boy. Yeah. But anyway, right. you guys be fucking well. And uh, let us know if you need anything, and we got your back still, so nothing changes. Yeah, absolutely, Ride right. Safe. Appreciate right. that. Be well, gentlemen. Take you guys as well. Whoop, whoop. Take care. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Uh -huh. So. We ready? Yeah. Uh, they square. What's our condition? Uh, yep. Uh, no, I don't know yet. yet. Been a radio silent until we got there. Also, right. I, I, I I whispered that little jab at the end. Don't... Oh, I, I know, I know. <laughs> I still chuckled. But my God, did I want to say it out loud so fucking bad? Who laughed? Uh, Gideon. Um, Gideon. 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 He was falling bit. asleep. Kelly. My head. Oh God. Uh, hold on. Okay. It's a phone number here. Who was my? Oh, oh yeah, good call. I think. What was your name? Who? You. Dice. Uh, Dice, thank you. And then your siren, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I think have I have Kelly yours. For sure. Let me give you my What's number. What's your name? JJ. Oh, I think I have yours. Do you? Are you the one I called and said that my balls are starting to sag? Hey, waiting what for. The fuck? <laughs> no, hell, that's that not siren. Okay. All right, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a go by or is it just JJ? Uh, JJ. Uh, enforcer. And that's Alex, right? Da. Probably should have kept my mouth shut there on that one. Go. Let me touch him real quick. Probably. Siren secretary. Dice, report the captain. Good to meet you. <sighs> hey, get these people's. Get these fucking so numbers so for their second road captain if you don't already have it. Fuck is that I don't know. Yuriisms. <laughs> Thank you. Just so you're all aware, oh, doctors have I... looked at her. We've got her back at the clubhouse right now. Really Robbie will be heading sometimes. back here in a moment. Say that again. I really hate these phones sometimes. Oh yeah, they're same. Terrible. Thank you. You gonna toss me yours? Yeah, there you go. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Try to get yours in. 
the siren secretary. And I think I'm missing some down there. Yep. All right, dice, take care. See y'all too. be with Kira, please. You're comfortable on my bike, Kiri. <laughs> I mean, do you want me to let it fall over and roll around? Oh, I mean, you can ride it back if you want. <laughs> I want everybody back at the MC so we can chat about this. Fucking bike is wrong. Oh, fuck. Um, oh. <laughs> your bike's down the, your bike's down the road, JJ. <laughs> the nice. See the bunker eat the guy. Uh huh. Bicyclist. It's fucking great. <laughs> All right, Vikings are returning back. All right, gonna be taking the next right. At the stop line, we'll uh, roll through and head to the right and head at home. Set speed five nine six zero five nine six zero. Right here. Yeah. It's a bit peculiar, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Car will end up behind. Let's buzz these fuckers. In the middle? Mm hmm. Watch buzz out for car rolling up behind. Okay.
There's gunshots outside that you. What's a lock fucking shooting at us? Not us. Definitely not us. I'm okay. Alex, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Alright, uh, next time, Alex, go uh, around them, not through them. I didn't go through them. They fucking split in front of me and I ran into one of them because they stopped. Close to one back in. Arriving MC. Headed into the hall. Ugh. I think JJ accidentally tapped one of their bikes, and so they stopped and it, like, they're so pincered. fucking fickle, man. Dude. Somebody remind me to get armor. Hey, Kelly. Get armor. After this. Uh, I well, should have some at the house, Kelly. Okay. There's also some, should be some in the, one of the safe. All right. I don't mind buying it. Okay. Eric, this is too fast. Who's? JJ. Oh, JJ, yeah. JJ, JJ, yeah. Whoever's that talking. Are you on that side, they can't that? hear anything. I was whispering to JJ that his hair grew really fast. <laughs> he's, Holy yeah, shit. He's, co he, wow. he's copying my haircut. Cute. That's some oh, luscious uh, locks. JJ, I have to say, Schmidt Huxley looks exactly like you without hair. Oh, God. Who the fuck is that? A douchebag? He's the one that shot up Anola's um, tattoo shop. Okay, so cut his head off and hang it in my wall. Uh, it. It's already been yeah, dealt been with. Taken care of. Of. God damn it. Sorry. I know, I missed it too. The fuck is Alex? Yeah, but he, he looks. He had to go get her ID. Oh, God. She left oh. in her car. So, looked like me. Got it. Glad I'm still superior. Look like twins. Both ugly. Twinsies. <laughs> Anybody yeah, notice that? Pretty much the same tattoos. His crown tattoo just looks like he's got a fake eyelash stuck mm -hmm. in his Here fucking forehead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drag queen eyelash. Look, if I didn't point it out, we wouldn't give a fuck about you. Be real. Yeah, it means I'm, we're actually looking at you. Paying attention. Alex, coming back. Why did she just have it on her? Apparently carrying an axe is a hard thing, so I don't know. Oh, Kelly, okay, thanks for uh, doing that for me, by the way. Of course, of course. Felt naked without it. Oh, I bet. Please, please put it the way, for love of God. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Where, where is she now? 
She's sitting on the so... couch in the pool room. Okay. She's okay? She's got two broken ribs and a Oof. fractured cheekbone. Damn. She need additional medical treatment, or is she okay? She's okay. Um, probably going to have a follow-up evaluation in the coming days. Good, I'd recommend it. Better than her being dead. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. So, what has happened uh, aligns itself with MC culture. Um, thankfully, Reapers were smart enough not to pursue a Reaper vote continuation on her and came to their senses. Because let's be real, if they hadn't, this wouldn't have gone. <laughs> this wouldn't have gone in a good direction for them. Um, but this matter stands resolved, as noted at this table at this time, that she is no longer an issue for that club. Uh, our gunner is now out of close. We are no longer in a phase of war. We're on the brisk of it. So let that be known at this table at this time as well. Also. Make sure that she's good. Uh, she is a prospect officially, in my opinion, now, without any baggage or, you know, bullshit hanging over it. So let's make sure that we're giving her our best, making sure that she knows beyond a reasonable doubt that this is her home, that we are her family, and that we will care for her. Is that understood? Completely. Yes. 100%. Okay. Uh, thoughts on what you witnessed if you were indeed there? which you were, so I'll open the table for a discussion if anyone has anything. I mean, there's really nothing to discuss. It happened. It happened. I mean... Mm -hmm. How does their story differ from what he told us? I don't know. It makes it, it puts them in better light, more or less. But I, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out, like, if she so actually that, that told is... us something different. From what I've heard is they she brought to the table about her mom. Omen old president would crack jokes about how he would fuck her fuck her while she was um high on meth and would crack jokes about it when it got serious talk about. She was thinking about going nomad, she decided against it. And then I don't really know much about what made her decide. Let me just pose this question, know. if I may. Um how would you guys feel if I fucking crack jokes about fucking your messed up mother? Honestly, w mm -hmm. without hesitation, if anything like that happened, uh, you wouldn't be standing. Exactly. And as family, too, it's d deplorable. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. yeah, even it's though, up. like, I, I don't even know if my parents are alive, but I mean, if, if I had a good relationship with them, I, you wouldn't be standing. So Fair enough. Ditto. There, uh, the... there is a little more to that, but that's yeah. deep in her deep personal story that it's not in my position. It's understandable. To say. We don't need to know the deep down dirties or whatever. So that's her business to to that's carry. That's her to share. Mm -hmm. Jax, are you yelling? He died. Uh, yeah. I don't think he was talking. Okay. I haven't heard him say just, anything. Yeah. It was very loud for some reason last time he spoke. Okay. Oh. Everybody's. Do you feel that this situation is now behind us? The? Yes. Yeah, as long as they keep their tail tucked between their legs. I don't mm. think that's, I think that's kind of a default that they have. So, but it's business as usual back with them, unless we have a decree that states otherwise in the future. We share a border. There's no issue. There's no need to make a bigger issue out of an issue that's already been resolved, in my opinion. So, do your very best just to sink this and settle it behind you, and we'll move forward with it, okay? Mm. Let's gotta go gotta show be. our our fucking let's go show our girl some love. Dismissed. I have you two in here for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep. What was that proper conversation about? Oh, just settling it. Just making sure that there's no bad blood, there, any yeah. bullshit, things like that. Right. It was easy. It was a good conversation. We really, according to them, we really, what's the word they use, Kira? When we fucking confronted them, like they were just completely taken back by oh, it. Yeah. Like that was completely unexpected for them. Yeah. So 
but I think they have some I think they have some reason to panic. Um they know we're not a fucking douchebag group, you know? Um we're not weak. So on and so forth. Good to go. Yeah, um, but it, it, while they say Anna is clean and clear, from Anna the club, is clean and clear. They even reiterated that again. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, Alex. Thank you for your help. Made it very apparent nice tight. to Anna that she owes him all the money he spent on her. No. Or it's going to get to bed. He, really? He, he directly said it in text to her. He gave her a gift of that Sanctus, a gift with with no uh, ex ex expectation of getting his money back, and he asked for all the money for it back. A douche. Well, I honestly I don't see Reapers sticking around. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, but I mean, if, if he wants to come up and try and throw his dick around on Anna, like um, cut it off. He's he's going. He's not going to have a dick. Yeah, just cut it off and beat him with it. Make him choke on his own cock. I don't care. All right. Make him make him look like a fucking piece of shit that he is. If that's the case, yeah. if you want to be that petty, then you don't deserve the life that you have, and we'll take it from you. Simple. No. But uh, right. Gunner is hereby closed. Um, let's make sure that that's known, okay? Bet. All right, let's go.